Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening probably the most anticipated product of the year, uh, especially with this 25th anniversary being the Rarity Collection. Every card in this set is basically a staple. I mean, copies of Ash, Imperm, Called by the Grave, I mean they're reprinting Baron to Floor, uh, you know, obviously. Um, Triple Tactics Talent I think is in there. Uh, like all times, Pot of Prosperity is in there. I mean, it's every single card that's been a staple throughout the years and obviously defining the meta uh, is reprinted here. Obviously, my box looks like it's been crushed a little bit, so hopefully nothing on the inside damaged. But obviously, I think a lot of people have been waiting for this, seeing what it is. Great for adding uh, staples of the game. Uh, not so great if you have those cards uh, and have been counting on the value of them staying up. Obviously, if you have copies of Baron uh, from other reprints or other prints, sorry. Uh, it's not gonna do well for keeping those ones high on the value, but um, I didn't sell my collector Baron, I'm keeping that. But like I got rid of all my copies of Ash um, that did get hit by the values of Maximum Crisis. Sold off a bunch of my copies of Imperm that I had. So I was selling a lot of cards in anticipation of this. Also, a couple new rarities are introduced in this collection. We have like the Platinum Secret Rare, and hopefully we'll get some of these in there. Quarter Century Secret Rares we've seen, obviously, from multiple sets. We haven't seen any personally other than the Legendary Collection. Uh, Platinum Collector Rare, which is a slight variation. So there's a lot of new rarities. Uh, Going to have to be a little bit of a discussion in terms of what's worth keeping collection-wise and what's worth selling, obviously. We start off with Dimension Shifter, uh, which is a major uh, staple of the game overall. We've got uh, our first quarter century secret rare right off the bat in Eldlick, the Golden Lord. So right off, we've got a quarter century secret rare. Uh, and then we got Ancient Fairy Dragon. We've got Cherubini, the Ebon Angel, and then Galaxy Eyes. Oh, Cherubini has also got a... Uh, I think this is a Platinum uh, Ultimate Rare. Sorry, going too fast here. So this is another one of our variations. This is a little bit difficult to see the border on the card, but another big hit. We'll go through all the, the big hits. Obviously, I think every slot uh, in it, the Platinum Collector Rare, Platinum Ultimate Rare, are a little bit difficult for me to distinguish. Uh, it's kind of hard. I have difficulty seeing the uh, the bordering textures a bit. Um, and every card comes in like every rarity in this set. So um, a lot of good stuff to add collection-wise. And then determining what you want to keep is going to be a little bit difficult if you're a collector and looking to resell. Obviously, if you get Ash, maybe you're selling that one. Um, that's probably what I would end up doing. I don't really like Ash as a card design. I would never play a $150 card. So uh, Chaos Space, we got uh, just a normal secret rare here. Uh, as far as I can tell, I can't see anything difficult on the, the uh, bordering there. We got Summon Limit, which is just an ultra dimensional barrier and then Decode Talker Heat Soul. And uh, I'll end up double checking through everything. But like I said, very good for picking up kind of variations. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to getting an Elder Entity Intis. I'm um, trying to figure out what I want to keep um, for purposes of just adding to the collection. Anything worth grading in this pack, you know. Wing Dragon Raw Sphere Mode. I would like to get that in a cooler variation and an Ancient Fairy Dragon. About the only thing they give you that's really helpful in uh, in terms of figuring out it's if you get a super, it's very obvious. But I like collector rares. Um, I, I don't know if I would sell a collector rare. So we did get a copy of Ash Blossom just as a super. We got a Masked Hero Dark Law, another quarter century secret rare. That's good. Dark Law is a fantastic card. Overall, great design. I would probably keep this um, regardless of value. Uh, I don't know. They're all kind of shifting around, so I do like Dark Law. Uh, I just think it's a great design. 
we got an ultra rare pot of desire so all the pots we're gonna reprint it and the dear servant as well oops one more card sorry it was just the iris sword soul at the back all right um i'm liking it i'm liking the pulls here And it's probably going to be a little bit lengthy on the video just because I've got to be careful because uh, I just can't see some of the, the foiling patterns as well. All right, we've got a secret rare Winged Dragon Sphere Mode here. Got to be careful. Another Dark Law. Just an Ultra Form, though. Predator Plant. And then we've got Dengirsu, the Orchest of the Evening Star. And if you guys see anything that I miss and like, hey, bro, that was clearly, and you can say bro, or dude, or homie, or whatever, gringo, on a real care, red eyes flare metal dragon, and say, hey, you know, you clearly missed something there. Ghost trick angel of mischief, nothing on the borders. We got Samoon the poison wind, vision hero Ferris, and cyber angel Benton. So it looks like. Back card is always a super, and so is the front. So that's nice of them. But like I said, I was getting rid of some cards that I was like, I don't want to get hit with a devaluation. Chaos Angel, Droplet. Droplet is one that I've been selling all my copies of Droplet just because a super rare print of it is much needed, but does a lot of damage to other uh, versions, uh, other prints of it. Win the Wind Chandler. We got Lone Fire Blossom. I know that's just an ultra. Oh, sorry, no, that is not an ultra. That is a Platinum Ultimate Rare. See, very difficult for me to see that uh, foiling around the corners there. And then we got Harpy's Feather Storm. Is got something going on here. Have they all been like that in the back? What? Good, we got a, uh, is this our collector rare? With the foiling on the back? I can't see that. I'm assuming this is the collector rare. I uh, can't tell, we got, at least we got a little bit of foiling on the card. Maybe to give that away. I uh, can't see if there's texture on the, uh, the edges for you guys, but I think there is. So we got a collector rare Harpy's Feather Storm and then Fossil Dig. Great spell card for the Dino Decks. My Dragon of the Swamp. Thought that was banned. Oh, yeah, another quarter century secret rare. Galaxy Eyes, full armor, photon dragon here. Quarter centuries are easy to give away because they always have that 25 stamp there. Can't see it as well on uh, this one, but <laughs> I always know those. All right, what we got going on here? Boral Load looks to be just a plain Ultra. Cyber Angel Benton, this looks like that Collector Rare foiling again, the Platinum Collector Rare. So another, another good hit. And again, I don't know where all these, since this set is so massive, I don't know where the where the price points stand. I think it's just a cool set to open. So I know Imperm uh, in the Quarter Century and Ash Blossom in the Quarter Century Secret Rare are sitting at the top of the list, which if you get those, I'd sell them since they pay for the box. Otherwise, like I said, it's a discussion of what's cool you know, do these count as, you know, I've never pulled an ultimate rare kind of thing. We got Boral Load in just a normal secret. We got Fairy Tale Luna. We've got Compulsory Evacuation Device, which is one of my favorite cards of all time. So I hope I get a quarter century or one of the collector versions of that. I will keep every copy of that card. The Yeet. The yeet card as it should be known. Compulsory evac is a fantastic moon card but also incredibly useful. Call it the yeet reasoning. We've got dimension shifter as a uh, just looks to be a secret rare correct. We've got Celine 
Queen of Master Magicians. This is the Collector Rare, I think. I'll give you guys a closer look. Looks like texture on the side. Shadal Schism. Doesn't look like anything on the borders. So um, should just be an ultra there. And then Pot of Prosperity is a super rare. So the uh, the ultimate and the collector rare are very difficult to see because like there's just texture on the ultimate. They're hollow on the sides. Collector has a little bit of texture to it. Tour guide. Good card. We got Nibiru. This is a secret rare called by. Another great, great staple. Irish Sword Soul is going to be what I think is this is an ultimate, right? Nice hollow patterning around the border. I don't see any texture, so going with an ultimate there. An effect Veiler. Alright, Junk Speeder, we've got Harpy's Feather Storm, just a, uh, this is what, the Platinum Secret Rare, right? Because we got foil around the, around the border. Egyptian God Slime gets its first reprint here, hasn't been printed since Rage of Raw. So, got rid of copies of that, you know, those are due for print and was like a $50 card up until this point. All right, I don't see any thing on Celine, Predaplant, just a super. I need I need a 25th anniversary compulsory evac. We got Dogmatica, just a normal secret. We got Effect Veiler, normal Ultra, Ice Dragon's Prison. Normal Ultra, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, just the Super. Alright, we got Eldlick, the Golden Lord again, Fallen of Albaz. Doesn't look to be anything on the border. We got Pot of Prosperity as an Ultra, Nibiru as an Ultra again, and then Time Thief or Doer as a Super. Dear Servant, Lightning Storm, that's another reprint that's a staple, but been selling those copies, get them out before who's knows herald of the arc light not seeing anything there ice barrier just appears to be an ultra and then we have cherubini just a super at the back well we've gone cold we've gone cold on hits ghost trick Lone fly, fly, lone flyer, lone fire blossom. We've got danger jackalope, Eldlick again, and just an ultra, and Harvey's Featherstorm. Got plenty of copies of Featherstorm now. Toss these aside. Dark Ruler No More. That's our first copy we've gotten of that. We got Called By as the Platinum Secret Rare with our foiling around the text box and foiling, secret foiling around the uh, artwork. Got a terrible R cut there, but not bad. Another print of Rhoda. Still have my collector Rhoda. Just an ultra though this time. 
Mech Knight, just an Ultra, Dogmatic and Punishment. I mean, how many Prince of Rhoda are there now? 20 something? Danger Jackalope, we got Pot of Extravagance. Just the secret rare. We got Ghost Trick again. Let's see what we got going on. Anything extra? Nope. Reasoning. Should just be an Ultra here as well. Ghost Bell, that's a super. Fallen of Albaz, Summon Limit, just a secret rare, Cyber Angel Benton, Ultra Only, Cold Talker Inverted, Ultra Only, Vision Hero Ferris Super. Yeet. Evac device is a super. Magicalized fusion is a secret only. Blue Ice Abyss Dragon is an ultimate platinum ultimate rare, right? No texture on the box. Just foiling. Question though is I don't know if this is going to pick up artwork slightly raised. I would say artwork slightly raised on them. Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon on the Ultimates. And then Eldlick the Golden Lord. I think on the Ultimates, the artwork is raised slightly. I don't know if that's a criteria, but looking at it from, now that I have it on the side, Fairytale Luna, Platinum Secret. We got Preparation of Rights as Pre-Preparation of Rights, Inspector Border, Artifact Lancia, Now just a handful of packs. Do at the end. What I'll do is I'll go through and just shuffle through what's what we've got. And Dark Ruler, Benton as a secret. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Yeah, but this one doesn't feel the same. The other one felt like there was a raised ink. Boral Load as a. Tw is this is our collector rare. Yes, collector rare boral load. I think. Man, I wish I could see that texture on the side. I think so. I think the little triangle texture fingerprint look thing is on the side. Ice Dragon Prison. We're stacking up them though. We're stacking them up. There's enough there to say some good hits. Don't know how many there are. Can't tell you the prices. We have Ferris as a secret. Extravagance as a collector rare. We'll probably sell this one. I think this is probably cool enough to sell. I'm not gonna play Extravagance. Cherubini again. Mm, I'm not seeing anything on the sides, right? Just an ultra and expect border. Last pack. Can this be our Ash? Imperm. 25th. Uh, I need my evac device, that's for sure. Super Baron. Alpha the Master of Beasts. We got Deco Talker Heat Soul. Artemis. 
is just a ultra and win the wind chandler. So I'll go back through and if I missed anything, I'll make an update. But what we did get, and we did get a good stack, I think, of decent, decent hits here. Because the stack is this thick of ultras and better, or sorry, better than ultras. So we've got Pot of Extravagance, the Collector Rare. We've got Boralode, the Collector Rare. Fairytale Luna is the Platinum Secret. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon is the Platinum Ultimate. We got Called By Platinum Secret Rare. Harpy's Feather Storm, Platinum Secret Rare. Iris Sword Soul, Platinum Ultimate. Celine Collector. Cyber Angel Benton as a collector, Platinum Collector. And sorry, no, this is Platinum Collector, right? That's what we determined. I can't tell. I can't see. There we go. Collector. Galaxy Eyes Photon, Full Armor Photon Dragon as 25th Anniversary, Quarter Century Secret Rare. Harpy's Feather Storm as the Collector Rare, Lone Fire Blossom, Platinum Ultimate Rare. Dark Law, beautiful Quarter Century Secret Rare. Cherubini as a Ultimate. And then Eldlick as our first, one of our first cards that we got, actually, as the Quarter Century Secret Rare. So what, that's four, six, 10, 13, 13, uh, what is that, Platinum Secret or better? So pretty good overall, I would say. And then I'll check through the rest. If I see anything that was I missed, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll do it in a short or something. But I appreciate you guys stopping in, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Be sure to subscribe. Take care.